Hi everyone, Ivan Hikes the World here. Um, I'm in a little bit of uncharted territory here. I'm, I'm just north of Ballatin Beach, Manitoba, about 40 minutes south of Hecla Provincial Park. And um, yeah, I'm just going down a back road. The map shows me that there's going to be a little bit of a shoreline there with not much civilization around. So try not to fall. I'm walking with my back into the wind actually because it's super windy coming off the lake. And uh, trying, well, I've got a noise reducing mic right now. Hopefully that'll, uh, hopefully that'll help. Uh, give my audio some protection. So I'm going to push north, see how far I can get, and uh, hopefully it's a beautiful hike. So uh, stay with me and uh, we'll see what we can see. All right, folks, uh, welcome to Lake Winnipeg. Uh, I believe it's one of the top 10 biggest lakes in the world. Um, it's the remnants of a massive inland sea which was covering the province of Manitoba, or at least a huge part of the province of Manitoba. And um, it, we're in what's called the interlake region of the province. So we're between two really big lakes. Uh, if we were to go really, really far in that direction, we would come to Lake Manitoba. And again, this is Lake Winnipeg. So basically um, a huge section of central Manitoba is um, caught right in between these uh, beautiful uh, freshwater lakes. All right, so here we are. Uh, I can't tell if it's gonna be super, super windy and uh, we won't be able to make anything out here audio, audio wise, but uh, hopefully we're good. I don't know if the mic can pick this up or not, but the feeling out here is absolutely fantastic. So it's just wide open space. We've got these waves rolling in, the air is, it's crisp, it's fresh. Know, the feeling out here is incredible. What you can't see is all the life that's going on around me that I would scare away if I was going around. There's little communities of sandpipers, gulls. I think I can see some geese in the distance. Um, and then behind you, we've got all this, this fall, fall colors in the tree line here. It's really something. So what's quite incredible here is really that, and I've got a yell, I feel I've got a yell here because there's so much wind, is that power of nature coming from over the lake. It's, uh, it's unrelenting. And uh, I mean, how does it make me feel? Well, it's keeping me real fresh, that's for sure. My nose is running because <laughs> it's only about uh, 15 degrees right now. And uh, I don't think I'm gonna sweat when one drop on this on this adventure you can see how Hecla Island starts to come out of kind of that, that haze and uh, that's it down there so let's see all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in the camera you can start to see some of that that forest line that tree line there that's Hecla Island um, yeah it's just massive So one of the things that I can definitely talk about here is that, I mean, this would be just a wicked stealth camp area to 
come pitch a tent maybe if you could find a little recession in the bush somewhere back there just to protect you from this wind a little bit but i mean think about it you could come out here with a fishing rod i mean of course bring some food but you could you can make a little fire on the beach there's plenty of driftwood and, and dry wood in the bush uh you know cast your line out hope for the best you know bring some bait uh, it could make for a really nice relaxing uh day out away from absolutely everything and uh what's cool about this is that i'm not all that far from access roads like there's there's plenty of ways out of here i mean in, in a worst case scenario um, or where you could just park a, a vehicle and then like hike it in. So I gotta wrap things up here. Um, my closing thoughts are that I've always thought about coming out and doing like a wild shoreline, right? There's no real trail other than what you make it. And in, in, a, in some sense, it's, it's more pure that way, right? Um, it's your own adventure when you come out. It's your own path that you carve. And uh, yeah, yeah, what a fantastic idea. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous out here. Um, I would love, so I'm gonna bucket list this, to bring a fishing rod, a tent, and come out here and do like a little stealth camp or what have you. And, uh, you know, of course, take you along for the ride. Um, so that's on, uh, that's on a things to do list. Whether I'll get to it this season or not, I'm not sure. Winter is coming in. I do want to thank you all. I mean, uh, I can see on my analytics page, those of you that are subscribed, you're coming back and you're watching my videos, continuing to support. Thanks so much, really appreciate that. As for my posting schedule, guys, it's one thing I've never mentioned. Um, multiple times a week, at least one time a week. So I'm usually pretty busy doing this um, and uh, I'll keep you guys busy uh, with hopefully uh, some information and entertainment and, uh, and what have you. So uh, thanks again so much and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.